Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Royal Dutch Elite. These are a pretty similar scar to the Royal Dutch Panatellas. I reviewed them in my last video. I suggest you check those out. This video is also going to have a bit of a taste comparison. I'm just going to talk about that for a little bit. These are said as slim cigars as opposed to just five normal cigars it just says on the Panatellas pack. These are very similar to the Panatellas in terms of size. Um, these are basically elongated minis, quite a bit longer, not too much in the pack as you see with some of the newer plain packaging laws where they're coming in with this stuff. There's not much uh, room left on the packets for their logos. Nothing else written in here by the way, just five stored. So um, we're looking at this as I said, elongated minis. I've also got the um, Royal Dutch Yellow minis here I reviewed not so long ago. Side by side, you see they are about the same width, it really is just a longer mini. Almost like the mini's just been cut from this. Kinda hard to show. In terms of tobacco, um, they look pretty much identical in terms of colour. So um, I would not be surprised if this is very similar to the mini. However, compared to the Panatella, the Panatella is a lot lighter than both of them. It's also um, upside down and um, a decent bit wider. So yeah, Pantel shorter, wider. So you know, overall works out pretty similar. Sorry for that burp. Price wise works out about four pound seventy for these and four pound eighty for well five of these and four pound eighty for five of these. So literally just a two P difference each, just under a pound per cigar. So um let me just quickly put this mini away since it's not individually wrapped. It's not a bad price for you know small cigarillos of this size. There's a lot to talk about in that regard. I'll get through that as we go through the video. Just cellophane wrap, no band. You wouldn't expect that on this kind of cigar. A little bit soft on the wrapper. The um, Panatel actually has quite quite firm. I think it's probably a little bit more densely packed as well. Held together pretty well. Seems to be okay. You know, the plug seems like it's going to hold quite well. A little bit of taper. Pantel had a decent taper, but this doesn't have that much of one. Looks like a pretty average cigar. A little bit loose tobacco in the end there. Nothing distinctive. Um, of course, these are only Dutch cigars. They're um, using Dutch tobaccos. Sort of like the generic setting point for tobacco, as I would say. Um... Of course, they're always cheap, but some of them could be very, very good value. You know, they still taste very good. And Remy Star always find that the Panatel is definitely pretty good. This, you know, I rate this 9 out of 10 for, you know, just being a good value cigarillo. This, um, pretty similar. So, uh, there's not too much to talk about with this, so let's just have, like, I'm also going to, um, while I remember to get a stopwatch ready, I just like to time my cigars. The difference between 10, 15, and 20 minutes for these small cigars can, you know, make a difference to someone. So let's just start a stopwatch. Immediately, that is a very, very cool smoke. Um, yeah, it does feel a little on the long side, you know, it does feel a bit, um, this isn't your average big manly cigar you'd be expecting. But, um, yeah, they can be quite pleasant. I've had, I believe I've reviewed these before. And, um, yeah, just trying to make a better quality review. Didn't think much of the plug of follow but a few little bits came out there, not a big problem. I did say the Panatels were cool smoke, but these are quite a bit cooler. It does feel like you're actually taking a bit of cold air while you're breathing through these, so um, be aware of that. I don't see any holes or problems in the wrapper, so that's just the way it is. The smoke is coming through quite well. That is a very light... Um, It tastes a bit like the Bolivar, say like the Bolivar Petite Corona. I couldn't describe that in too many words. I said, you know, it's got a slight chemical taste to it, like window cleaner or something. It's a little bit of a light, sort of, um, a little bit of a bitter taste. It's kind of weird. But uh, it's got a little bit of that, I would imagine. 
a little bit of tinge to that, I feel. Again, lots of smoke for the size. This does actually taste like some of the um, San Dominican scars I've had recently, actually. Almost like the uh, a little bit of the, the very light Nicaragua and scars like the Quorum Shade range, for example. This is um has a little bit of that kind of taste. It doesn't taste quite like a cheap generic Dutch cigar, to be honest. So, you know, so far I think it's got some interesting taste properties. Definitely on the light side, a little bit of that is quite a uh, rich flavor, I would say. Not quite as earthy as the Panatella started out. Definitely something you can see in the aftertaste. Ah, I know what it is. It's, um, it might sound completely unrelated now, but it is quite a decent taste of um, cocoa, I would say. You know, a little bit of cocoa. You can definitely pick that up on the Retro Hill. So when I record reviews, while I'm recording, I puff it quite fast, just so I could give you a good representation of the flavor. But of course, you want to be puffing it slowly as you smoke normally. With minis and scars this small, it doesn't really matter at all, but um, I do puff maybe every 30 seconds to a minute on scars like this, as well as I do normal scars. So um, I'm going to start recording now, and when I get towards the end, I'll give you my final thoughts on this and tell you how it went throughout the way. So I will see you in a minute. So we're nine near and ten minutes into this cigar. Still got a bit to go. I just wanted to update you because it's really getting, um, I tend to make these clips when we hit a milestone, but I tend to just forget about that and do a beginning and end when it comes to cigars this small. But the flavour is really, um, it's picked up in something rich and it's kind of hard to describe completely. Yeah, but I'm definitely enjoying it. It tastes almost a little bit like, um, the ghetto tobacco, which is generally the bits of the tobacco plant at the very top. They tend to get the most sun. So, you know, a little bit more cured, I would, I would sort of guess, you know, more sun-baked, if that's the word to describe it. I'm guessing that's probably where the richness is coming from. There's definitely a lot towards the, you know, chocolate and coffee side of the flavour wheel, I guess. Um, yeah, very, very much a slight tint towards the coffee and chocolate. Definitely. It's hard to say, when you're straight puffing, you don't notice a little bit, but when you, you know, let it rest in your mouth, you get a big, big hint of it. So, uh, yeah, pretty pleasant scar. It's going quite rich in terms of taste. For the value, I'm already liking this quite a bit. I mean, we're at 10 minutes now, and we still got a while to go. So, I will update you when we get to the end of the scar. So, see you in a minute. Just hit 20 minutes in. A little bit of a decent nutty little flavour there. And overall, I think this is a very good cigar. It did have um, a lot of coffee notes in there. Definitely a little bit of chocolate. Um, pretty smooth throughout. was a very, very cool draw. It was you know, quite relaxing. I want to say a little scar, but it's quite on the long side. So um, that's the Ritmi Star Elites. Um, Royal Dutch Elites. I would say comparing it to the Panatellas, you're getting pretty much the same size value I guess the amount of tobacco you're getting for your money they cost about the same like 2p difference per cigar you know around a pound each um yeah 17 and a half minutes 20 minutes very similar these definitely are a little bit hotter a little bit hotter tasting not quite as rich in terms of flavors these are quite a lot richer in terms of flavors um I'd prefer these to be honest um nice cool smoke if you relax in the evening good one maybe morning smoke afternoon smoke really fits any time quite a rich flavor definitely not too much for beginners so if you're beginner these would be quite a good one to get some you know good tasting rich cigars in there again i have to rate these something like nine out of ten i mean if we're talking about these cigars shop bought cigarillos out of ones you could buy go to the shop you say you know what have you got most common shops news agents they'll have they'll probably have these if they do i would probably get these nearly every time i would i would give these from 10 out of 10 to be honest um can't really fault them in any way so uh thanks for watching this review i hope you enjoyed it
If you want to buy these, you can buy them at your local news agents or shops, but I always include links in my description. And that's just the places I buy my cigars. If you're going to purchase these online, by the way, I recommend if you're buying other cigars, probably throw in a pack of these, they're quite good. In my description, you'll also find a link to my Patreon page. There, you can support me if you want to. There's also a link to my Facebook page, and I post a lot of content there that you don't get to see here. You know, sometimes you can post reviews there. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.